We begin our Thursday program with some sobering and frightening statistics. According to the Virginia Department of Health, drug overdose deaths here in the Commonwealth are expected to exceed 1,000 people this year alone. Heroin overdoses and heroin deaths here in Central Virginia are occurring at epidemic rates, mirroring a problem that's occurring in big cities and small towns all across America. Chesterfield County here in Central Virginia is planning an opportunity next week to have an open and honest discussion through an event they call Heroin in Our Family. Chesterfield Sheriff Carl Leonard is here this morning along with Bakuma Boyd, a recent graduate of the Heroin Addiction Recovery Program. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank this you this program is called HARP. Um, kind of explain what the program is all about. Yes, uh, you know, you know, jails and prisons have been a great place to go if you want to have somebody detox from drug use. And we haven't done our due diligence in helping those people beat these addictions. And, and in essence, we're part of the problem because we've we've helped people detox. But then we release them back into the community. They're still an addict. They still have the addiction. And we're causing them actually more harm. So with this epidemic this year, it just got to the point where I said, we've got to do something different. Uh, what we're doing is not working. So one of the things we decided to do is create this program for our heroin addicts and help them actually beat this addiction, to, to learn the tools to deal with it. So when they get back in the community, they won't re recidivize and go back to using drugs. They can be productive members of our community and beat this addiction and stop that vicious cycle of continuing to come into our jail or the other option, ending up dead. Mm -hmm. I will pose the same question to both of you, but I'll start with you, Sheriff. Is the program working? I believe it's working. We've had 115 people through our program now. We have 46 in it today. Of those who have left the program, we've had great success rate. Uh, we are finally giving people hope, hope in their lives, letting them know they are somebody and, and to, the tools to deal with this addiction, they're going to be addicts the rest of their life. They're going to fight it every day of their life, but then, now they have the tools and the ability to cope and to deal with it and to beat this addiction. And Bakuma, as a recent graduate of this program, is it working? Um, yes, most definitely it's working. Uh, you know, I, I commend the sheriff for uh, stepping out on a limb like he does and, uh, and start this program out. You know, we're a, we're a program that, uh, you know, we, we we address the physical, the mental, and the spiritual aspect of recovery. You know, we have, uh, which one thing is important is our peer-to-peer -peer recovery. You know, it's easier for me to relate to somebody who's been through the same thing that I've been through, you know, um, you know, been out there and, 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 and the crime that we committed and, and the shame and the guilt that we go through. And uh, we help each other heal. You know, we have a camaraderie of brothers that uh, stick together. You know, I get emotional now talking about it. You know, I graduated September 8th and, uh, you know, it's just, it's been, it's been so amazing to see this thing grow and uh, I just commend the sheriff for, for what he do and what he does and to, to keep this thing going on the way he does and, and to watch our community, you know, the guys that we're with actually learn something and, 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 and what makes our program so different is that we when you get out, you get to come back in. I don't. I never heard of a jail or any institution that lets you do that. And when they come back in, it bridges the gap. It shows us that you know when we get out, we can do the same thing that they're doing, and it gives us hope as a community. Mm -hmm. How important is it to have something like this within the the uh, incarceration system? I think it's uh, it's extremely important. Um, you know, the sheriff says it all the time. You know. Most of the time, I can be sitting, sitting next to a person and you wouldn't even know that they were heroin addicts, you know? It, it can happen to anybody. You know, I say it all the time, you know, we're, we're not, you know, bad people. You know, we're, 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 we're bad, we're good people, right? We're trying to, 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 to stop this sickness. We have a sickness. And you know you wouldn't you wouldn't treat a person with diabetes, you know the way addicts are treated. You know you would try to treat that disease, and I think that um, you know we have to we have to stick together, and we have to come up with some things, you know to uh, to keep this thing going. Right. You know? And 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 one of these things to help people is share if this this. Um panel discussion that's coming up. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, one of the things I've learned, and, and these guys have taught me so much about the addiction, and I'm learning every day from them, and they're really an inspirational group of guys, uh, and really good people, but they have this disease, which is their addiction. 
One of the things I've learned is that this is everywhere. Yeah. You know, heroin is everywhere. It's in our families. And I tell people, and I go talk a lot about this, uh, everybody knows a heroin addict. You may not know you know somebody that's heroin addict, but you that's do, because right. it's, it's everywhere. It crosses across all cultures, races, religions, economic status. It's there. So we decided we need to do something to help our community. Since it's there, let's help them. Right. So this panel discussion, this town hall, uh, will incorporate some of the members from HARP, as well as some experts. We have the Attorney General's office there, mental health experts there. We want families to know this is the signs to look for, to see if maybe there's heroin in your family. Or if you know there's heroin in your family, here are the resources available to you to address it, to get the help you need mm -hmm. before they get into the criminal justice system, uh, to try to give the people the help they need at the time they need it. And, and this will give people hopefully some answers too and bring this out into the open because as you say a lot of times we don't talk about it. Absolutely and uh, the, these gentlemen in the program are, are so revealing and they want to give back to the community so much. The information that they have to give is really enlightening and I think everybody will learn a lot from what they have to say. I mean they're the experts. They've been there. They've done that. They can tell you as a mother what signs to look for when their, their son or daughter is using heroin or their husband or wife. Well, thank you both so much for coming in and, and sharing a little bit about this very important topic. Let's tell people specifically about this uh, event coming up. The Chesterfield County Sheriff's Office presents Heroin in Our Family. It's next Thursday, September 29th from 7 to 9 at the Eanes-Pittman Public Safety Training Center in the county. The event is free, but registration is required.